Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about, I'm going to show you how to add bleed and crop marks to your design. And so if you give, then if you give to a printing press, to a printing service online, you can see where they will cut and, and the, the poster flyer or business card that you, that you made. I choose a template for the purpose of this um, demonstration. And here we have this template that I chose. What you can see here, we have like a white frame around this, which looks nice. Anyway, we will also see later how we extend this. So what you do is to add a bleed marks, you go to file settings, and then you show print bleed here. Now you can see this little black frame around here, this black frame, and you can see where the printing press, the online printer will cut the poster. This means you can now see if any, any elements are not within the printable or the cutting area. So if this goes outside, it will not be on the final product. In this case, it doesn't matter that much, but what you can see now is here on this one, you see that here are these little crop marks, and this is where they will cut. So this is, looks fine if you want to have this white frame around it. Now, if you go to the next page here on my design, on the template, you can see, you see the line that is the print bleed. Again, you should get it here from file, settings, show print bleed. So if I take it again, tick this again, it's gone. Now I'll go there again and can take it again. And then we see that it's here again. So you see that the image in the background extends over the print bleed, um, which means that you have a full frame image on your poster or flyer. What you also see here, I made this mistake by, not by accident, just to, sh to for demonstration to show you, you can see that the O of the offering right here is not within the print bleed, but outside of it. So which means if it gets, if you get it back from the print printer, they cut it, the O will be cut right here, which will not look good. So just to say that you have to be careful that if you have any elements that you for sure want to be on the poster in full, in full you have to put them inside this frame, which is the print bleed. So which makes this one my favorite version. You can see it can, extends all the way to the edges. There's nothing that's outside of the print bleed that I want in the poster, which makes this a very good poster. So what it will look like if you download, so you can see here, it doesn't isn't cut off here, but what you can see is that if you draw this line down here, it will be cut off. And this is where they will cut. And this is the final version here, which means that it is full frame. You will see all the, the whole, image is on the poster, there's no white frame around it. And this is how you add print bleed and crop marks to your design in Canva.